I'm Zara Baxter and welcome to PC Authority's How To Series. This will be the first in a three part series looking at ways in which you can access your files, folders and even your computer from anywhere in the world. If you've ever found yourself on holiday in a strange city or even at a friend's house without access to a file that you desperately need, then some kind of remote access is what you're after. But most methods take a little bit of preparation. The first one we're going to look at is Dropbox. Dropbox is an online service that stores files. You set up a folder on your system that will be your Dropbox and then a copy of any files in that folder is kept up to date both on your system and on Dropbox Online. You get two gigabytes of storage for free with Dropbox, but extra costs a little more. So to get Dropbox, you need to first install it. Which is pretty straightforward. Set up Dropbox using the installer, which should only take you a couple of minutes. and then you're ready to roll. If you don't have a Dropbox account, you'll need to create one. All you need is your name, your email address and a password. Your Dropbox by default is in your My Documents folder, but you can choose to put it anywhere on your computer if you prefer. Once you have a Dropbox, you can share it with other people as well. Once your Dropbox is set up on your home desktop, here it's in My Documents folder, you can click onto the Dropbox website at any time to see exactly the same files online. SkyDrive is Microsoft's online free storage solution. If you have a Windows Live account, you get 25 gigabytes of storage space. Unlike Dropbox, you need to drag and drop any files you want to store onto the web interface. There's no automatic syncing. So once you've headed to SkyDrive, you can see here that it integrates with Office and you can use it for photos, videos, as well as files, and just click sign up to go. If you already have a Hotmail account, you can sign straight in, but otherwise just click use your own email address and enter the details in order to sign up. Once you're logged into SkyDrive, it's just like using your My Documents folder on your desktop. You can add files of any type you like. Just click add files and then drag and drop files or folders from your desktop or anywhere on your computer straight into the SkyDrive, just like that. Easy. So all of the examples that we've just looked at are fine if all you need is access to a couple of files, but sometimes what you want is to be sitting at your own desktop at home. Whether you want to use software that you only have installed on your home computer, or you just want to be able to view something on your desktop. Now, that's kind of tricky unless you use something called a virtual private network or VPN, which allows you to access your home computer just as though you were sitting at your own desk. There's a few examples you can use. Uh, software like VNC, PC Anywhere, Go to My PC, or the one that we're going to take a deeper look at, which is called LogMeIn. In order to use LogMeIn, you need to first install it on your computer. To do that, you just head to the LogMeIn website, which is www.logmein.com. And once you're there, from the products menu, you'll need to select LogMeIn Free. To install it, just click the download button and then fill in your email and a password. LogMeIn will tell you whether your password is strong enough as you enter it. Once you create a LogMeIn account, you'll be able to download the software and it should start setting up all by itself. The file setup will only take a few minutes. Just choose to install and you're good to go. Once you've finished installing it, you will need to restart your computer. This is to make sure that it's ready for other computers to connect to. To activate your LogMeIn account, you'll need to head to your email address and click the link inside it. Once you've done that, you can add multiple computers to your LogMeIn account, and they'll all be accessible from the LogMeIn website through the My Computers link. If you log into the LogMeIn website and save your password, that'll make sure you can always access it. To use LogMeIn to connect to your regular computers or any computers you may have added to your LogMeIn details, just head straight to the LogMeIn site and sign in. Once you sign in, you'll be shown all the computers that you currently have access to. In our case, we have two. In order to connect, just click on the remote control button. And you'll need to enter a username and password in order to get access. It may take you a little while to connect. And once you do, you'll be shown your main desktop screen. And in addition, a number of controls down the side. Most of these you won't need to worry about if you just want to use your home computer. Just select full screen and it'll be just like sitting at your desktop at home. It will tell you what printers have been connected. It'll also tell you where you're connected from. And if you need to disconnect, just 
put your cursor right at the top of the screen and you'll have all your options available to you. So that's the basics of Log Me In and I'm sure you can see that it's incredibly useful. That's the end of part one of our how-to series, but tune in for parts two and three where we'll talk you through how small businesses can set up for their employees to work from home and how you can provide tech support for your family from anywhere.